What's up cool cats and kittens? It is Uncle Mad here today on a rainy, overcast, kind of crappy day here in beautiful Nashville, but we're going to take advantage of the time we have in the day to continue our hot chicken odyssey. Now after our last hot chicken experience left a little bit to be desired, I'll link that somewhere, you'll find a link to it somewhere in this video. Decided to just not pull any punches, not uh, not beat around the bush. We're going straight to the top, to the OG, to the original. Today's hot chicken journey takes us to Prince's Hot Chicken. Now you know the drill. I'm gonna get a temperature of chicken that I think I would actually be able to eat and tolerate from a lunch. Then I'm gonna get the super hot stuff that's gonna kill me, destroy me, ruin my day. You know the drill, so let's just get right into it. Just as a heads up, if you're coming to Prince's, be prepared to wait. Took about 30, 35 minutes to get that food, but we got it, I'm gonna head home and get to it. All right, milk, ready to go with that. You know what we got going on here. Starving, this smelled so good on the drive home. How greasy the side of the bag is. That's how you know it's good. Got in here. I also added slaw this time. I thought that might be a useful help for cooling myself down. I might need a plate. This looks like it's not really in a. I'm gonna get a plate. Fries. Fries. The mild. It's gonna be the actual lunch. And we've got the hot, which is going to kill me. Oh, hello. What's up? Okay, that's good. You proved you can count. Mission accomplished. I can count but 200. What? That's unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Starting off with the mild. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to be hot. This is the mild. I haven't got to the hot yet, but this uh. looks like it's going to have a nice kick to it. A lot more kick than that mild we had in the last video. It looks good. It is very good. You want to try a bite? Sure. All right. I already ate my ice cream and strawberries. Ice cream and strawberries? What a lucky kid you are. Yeah, that is good. Definitely has a little bit more of a kick than the mild we had in our previous video. The breading is actually staying on the chicken, so that's a very good thing. I like this. This is good. I'm going to sit down. I'm gonna go put pants on. You not wearing pants? No. What the heck? I'm wearing underwear though. Ew. I'm back. Parker's back. Now I got pants on. And he's got pants on this time. Uh, I want a friend. Oh, 
probably not. Rabbit. The bread? Yeah, I like this. It's got hot stuff on it. Okay. Very hot. Not too hot. That's hot. <laughs> it's so hot. You're gonna eat more? We lost Parker. I got tea. Still hot? Um, I got tea. Here, drink some milk. This will make it better. Okay, so finished up the mild. It was very good. Would definitely get that again. 100%. Now, I don't know if everybody at home knows the backstory of Prince's Hot Chicken. It's the original hot chicken in the Nashville area. So the story goes. You want the Nashville without me? Yeah. So the story goes someone many generations ago in the Prince family. A gentleman was out philandering, doing what he does. Doing what he does, maybe not being of on the best behavior in regards to his wife. So she decided rather than just yell at him or be mad at him, she would punish him by serving his favorite dish, hot chicken. No, not hot chicken. Wait a minute, I messed it up already. Fried chicken but she was gonna throw all this spice and all this crazy stuff in it to make it spicy and hot and sabotage him. Well, it backfired because he loved it and thought it was awesome, and thus hot chicken was born. So with that rigor and roll done, I guess there's nothing left to do but for me to eat the hot chicken. Mm-hmm. I've got to referee a high school soccer game in like an hour, so this is probably a huge mistake to do this, but these are the things we do for the sake of content. <clears throat> All right. No, I don't taste that much spice. Yeah, Parker's just recovered from biting a couple bites of bread that had some of the mild heat on it. Okay, now I'm definitely not gonna eat more than one of these. I'm not even gonna eat probably more than one bite. I can look at it and see that I'm it looks- I'm not gonna eat that pickle. It looks very devastatingly hot. Yeah, it really does. You're gonna freak out. You're gonna freak out, okay. Oh, come on. All right, this is what we're working with. Hot tender. I'm already regretting this. I feel like this is a really bad idea. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. We're prepared though. I've got my milk. I've done nothing. Got some slaw, like I said. This, I, don't, I don't even know if this will help, but it that, seemed like a good idea when I was ordering the food. Is that spicy? No, that's not spicy. It looks good. All right. Psych myself up. Let's go. I can't watch. One, two, just ripped off, just like a band aid. Here we go. I can't watch. Here we go. All right. This is for you at home. Things we do. Bone apple teas. Not as hot as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be burning hot. I did too. It wasn't. Maybe I just got a. It's definitely got a lingering effect though. It's kind of hanging around in my mouth a lot more than the mild, so the heat's sticking to me a little bit more. But it's not. In terms of hot, this is the least destructive to me as a person that I've had so far. Now they had higher levels of hot. I always just go for hot. Whatever, whatever is called hot. That's what I get. They had like double X hot, triple X hot, 
slap your mama, you're gonna die hot, I think was one of them. So they had higher heat levels than hot, but my go-to is just hot. It's Nashville hot chicken, I get the hot. I'm actually gonna do something I rarely ever do in the videos of the hot chicken. I'm gonna have a second bite of the hot. So I feel like everybody's gonna be disappointed that I didn't like have a meltdown and cry and sweat and curl up in a ball, so. Maybe the first bite, I just got lucky. Let's try another bite. And that's a bigger bite. This is a bigger bite, so this might be a mistake, but that's what we do. It looks good. Yeah, not too bad. Ooh, a little bit of a light charge on the heat. Uh, it feels like uh, I had gum or something, but I really didn't. Spicy? It lingers. That's what I would say. It's not like the abrasive, like, hot that we had in, like, the last video where just as soon as I ate it, I was like, Gosh, I should have done this! I never seen that. I was never in that. Yeah, you weren't in the last ones. This is your first appearance in the hot chicken videos. Yeah. But it's hot, and my mouth is still hot, so it's like a lingering heat more than, like, a, just a bam, kick you in the face heat, so... I like this. This is of the hot chicken, actual hot chicken I've eaten. This is by far my favorite. I think the mild was my favorite. So I think overall, Prince's, and not surprised, it's the original. It's the started the whole game. Prince's so far of our hot chicken odyssey gets first place. It's the best. See you later, Parker. Okay. Okay. All right, rip. I ended up not needing it because the heat didn't get me that bad, but I am going to try the slaw since I got it. You haven't tried it yet? Nope. I was saving it in case I needed it for the heat. That's pretty good. Nothing special. Basic slaw. Looks good. Ew, the chicken smells. Where's the, that? I don't know. your breath. That's all we got today. You say my breath stinks? <laughs> yeah, it's your breath. That's all we got for today. Yeah, it's your breath. Sorry if you're disappointed I didn't get a meltdown from eating super hot chicken. It just wasn't... It had a high spice level, it's still lingering. But it's not like the abrasive, my whole mouth shuts down heat that we've had in previous videos. So apologies if that's what you tuned in to see. Didn't happen this time. We're gonna wrap it up for today. Yay! Thumbs up, not thumbs down. Give this, give this. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get all notifications so the next time we try some hot chicken, you see the video. Maybe I do have a meltdown in that one and things go a lot better than that one. Don't stand so close to me. Don't stand so close to the camera, Parker. You're almost knocking it over. Leave some comments down below. Where else should we go? I've got a list of all the hot chicken places I want to check out, but maybe there's stuff I don't know about. So Need throw those down in the down. comments down below. Maybe I'll take Parker next time. Uh -huh. Throw those in the comments down below if there's anywhere we need to check out that maybe I wouldn't have thought of already. Of uh, I'm not at school. Yeah, when Parker's not at school, maybe I'll take him. But that's it. We're done. As Parker had already said, he jumped the gun on it. But he, he was right. Don't stand so close to me. Okay, I don't have to say it. Mission accomplished. I will say, new catchphrase that I'm tagging on to the end of every video, because I like it. I'll see myself out. So. See myself out. Peace, boys. Peace. Cool, too. That can be your catchphrase now, I guess. Peace, boys.